Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x squared plus y squared equals to 25 and x minus y equals to 7. Let's leave this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now, from equation 2, from equation 2, let's make x the subject so that we take y to this side. So, minus y come here become plus. That's y plus 7 now. Let this be equation 3, then put equation 3 in equation 1. Instead of writing x here, so we write y plus 7. So equation 1 then become y plus 7 all square, then plus y square, then equals to 25. Then when we simplify this from here, we can expand this, and this will give us y square plus 2 times y times 7, that's plus 14y, then plus 7 squared, that's 49, then plus y squared, equals to 25. And then when we add y squared together, y squared plus y squared, that gives us 2y squared, then plus 14y, plus 49, then bring 25 here, minus 25, equals to 0. And then when we simplify this further, this gives us 2y squared plus 14y plus 24 equals to 0. Then we can divide through by 2. When we divide through by 2, this will become 2 cancel to here, that's y squared, then plus 2 going 14, 7, that's 7y, seven then plus 12 equals to zero this is a quadratic equation we can factorize it and we have y square plus 4y plus 3y plus 12 equals to zero so we can factorize this as this then what is common between these two terms is y so y out then y plus 4 left then also we have plus 3 into bracket y plus 4 here, yeah? which is equals to 0. And then y plus 4, y plus 4, we take one, we take it out, that's y plus 4. Then multiply by y plus 3 equals to 0. So we have two cases here. We have y plus 4 equals to 0. Or we have y plus 3 equals to 0 from here y equals to minus 4 and from here y equals to minus 3 and to get the value of x we can use the equation 3 which is x equals to y plus 7 and here x will be equals to y is minus 4 that's minus 4 plus 7 that's 6 7 minus 4 and that's x equals to 3 and on this side also we use s equals to y plus 7, then x equals to minus 3 plus 7, that's t7 minus 3, and x equals to 4 from here. So we have here x equals to 3, y equals to minus 4, and x equals to 4, y equals to minus 3. So these are the two set of solutions we have from here. And then when we write it, we can write it out properly. We have x comma y for the first solution we have 3 comma minus 4. And the second set of solution we have x comma y equals to 4 comma minus 3. So we can check and put these values into the equation to confirm that it satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.